My name is John Galiski. I coordinate the Space Technology and Robotic Systems Academy here at Lompoc High School. And this week we're running a middle school renewable energy camp for five days in which students will work with wind power and uh, building their own wind turbines and solar power building solar powered cars. <laughs> so Cedric, tell me about your wind turbine. Um, we use plastic and wood, two plastic and two wood, and we angled it to the left by one inch. And yep. Did it work out pretty well for you? Yes, sir. Great. Thank you. We got about 412. About 412 yeah. milliwatt seconds? Yeah. That's great. All right. Thank you. So, Brandy, will you tell me about your wind turbine here? Um, well, our best results had four blades, so we went back to four blades, and we cut down our blades, and we got the best results so far. So it, it moved even faster? You generated even more energy with shorter blades? Yep. That's great. Yep. Valerie, will you tell us the different parts of your wind turbine? Um, there's the tower, and then the nacelle, which is the part up here where they keep all the gears to make it um, to store the electricity and everything and then there is the hub and out of the hub come the blades okay that's great thank you very much yep. So Bradley and Nate, tell me about these these gears on top. It looks different from the other turbines. Um, with the gears, it should make the turbines go faster because when you spin it once, it should go about like 30 times in the small gear. Okay. Okay. So the, every time the blades go around, what what's moving faster? What's this part in here? Um. When it spins around once, this medium size gear spins around this little size gear, which goes to the generator, which produces electricity. All right, that's great. Thank you. Miguel, will you hold up your, your turbine there so I can see? That one looks different from some of the others. Tell me what you've changed on it. Um, we made a couple of the blades bigger than the other kind. Okay. Um, and what kind of variables have you changed? These, you talked about bigger blades and smaller blades. What else have people been working with? The length. The length of the blades. Have you changed anything else? Uh, What's this angle here called? The pitch. Have you changed, have you changed the pitch at all? I think so. OK, thank you. These have a hole, these have one hole, these have one hole, but here there are two holes. What do you think that's going to do to the balance of it? It's going to make it off balance. So how are you going to fix that? Uh, either uh, take, take a few off or add another one. Do you have another one to add in there? Okay, give, give that a try, see what happens. Tell me what you've learned about wind energy. It's free, clean, and 
renewable. Okay, thank you. So Bradley, you look pretty excited about the results you got here. Yeah. What made the difference? The gears and fixing the gears, which like made it go faster. Okay, so so you had gears on it before, but they were slipping a little bit. Yeah. And now you got it working. How much more energy is that than anyone else got before? A whole lot. A whole <laughs> lot. Yeah. What else? The, the blades. blades. The blades are longer, longer. longer. longer but what do you different. notice? Notice the third dimension of the blades that's different. Yeah, but between the white and the blue sides, is it flat on the front and the back? No. No, no they went with an airplane blade type shape. Ask them how they did that. How'd you do that? Met on the CNC, we had to use um, what's a CNC? Computer numeric system, isn't it? You can cut 3D models. Yeah, you can cut 3D <laughs> models. You can cut wood, metal, just about anything you want on a 3D mirror. On the CNC. We'll show you guys that uh, tomorrow yeah, we had it like or that, maybe we? even Friday morning. You want to put the bag? How we have it? You want to put the bag? You don't need the bag. You don't You guys notice the gearing as well? They have, uh, what do you notice about the second set of gears? There's two big ones, but why would you have a big one going yeah. into a big one? So look closer. Now look closer. It's not a big one going into a big one. Yeah. On, on all of them, too. There's a big one going into a small one. a big one. So a big one going into a small one. The small one's attached to a big one. I remember how high that big one is going into a small one. Oh. So I don't remember how high that was. Than the one, so they're putting the scale really high. Are you guys ready? I don't even remember where it's supposed to be. You guys are putting the scale that high. I won't yeah, actually, it goes that high. Uh, <laughs> Alright, here we go. You have to see data. Oh. Crazy. <laughs> It's not like the same as the kitchen. So it kind of reduces the So I'm not going to be able to do Uh, hi, I'm Todd Wold with Stars Academy at Lompoc High School, and we are doing our 2011 Renewable Energy Camp, uh, where we're focusing mostly on solar and wind energies this summer. We're doing two days of wind turbines, where we're looking at generating electricity uh, and different blade designs and all kinds of variables involved with that. With uh, solar, we're going to be doing some solar race cars, where in the end they're going to have a double elimination race off, but they're going to be looking at different variables involved in solar power as well and uh, things like mass and friction and uh, gear ratios and such to try and make the most efficient car they can. On Friday we're going to finish it off with a uh, banquet where we're going to get the kids an opportunity to explain to their parents what they've been doing, 
Uh, they'll see a slideshow, uh, get some awards, uh, and we'll be able to get the community involved by having the parents in here, uh, uh, letting their children brag a little bit about all the fun they've been having. Um, I have to say one of my favorite experiences so far this week was there was one student on the first day at the end of the day, I said, uh, uh, I was saying goodbye, and he turned to his mom, he goes, Mom, I'll be back tomorrow. And I said, was that a question? And she turns to me and she goes, yeah, actually, yeah. He wasn't sure he wanted to be here. So uh, having kids come back on their own decision, um, kids who originally came because their parents forced them and then uh, ended up wanting to be here, as well as kids wanting to spend their own lunch time and their own break time continuing to work. And we've actually had to stop them to send them home. Uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful experience. And kids have been having a, uh, a great time. Uh, as well as, I guess, to finish with solar, um, we're doing some, also some activities, demos, where we're going to have a solar panel out. It's going to be running a TV and a DVD player. Maybe I'll bring my Wii in from home. Uh, we've got a solar backpack, and we're showing them how that's going to be charging their MP3 player iPods and, and cell phones and whatnot. And so just really getting them uh, interested in and seeing how um, attainable the technology is nowadays for, uh, for all the energy that they're using.